Alrighty, we have finally reached our destination. So that is the lake right there. And we are here to do some trout fishing. Water is a lot higher than uh, usual. This is my first time actually fishing this year. First fishing trip of the year. Try not to slip because it's kind of slippery, but people have been doing somewhat decent at this lake. So decided to come out and give it a try. Usually this part right here, usually the water's like actually down here and you can just walk on the bank around here and get to go to the other side. But the water is, again, the water is a lot higher than what I'm used to. So we're gonna settle down really quick and we're just gonna start casting and see if we can uh, cast some trout. Just gonna quickly show you guys my rig that I'm gonna be using for today. I only brought one rod, basically one setup and really just one lure that I'm gonna be focused on. And so basically this is what I'm using right here. That's what I'm using right there. So this is a 1 6 ounce black rooster tail with a gold spinner. And from our experiences, uh, the number one color that we have success with is a black spinner. Like the body of the spinner is black and then you have a gold blade on it. Uh, that's usually what works the best for us. Obviously like it doesn't always perform. Sometimes fish they prefer another color like green and white with a silver blade or blue and pink with a silver blade or blue and pink with a gold blade etc. So uh, I don't know what the fish are hitting but uh, you know the good old trusty black and gold rooster tail is what we're going to be going with. And so I'm going to settle down really quick. Just throw my pack on the ground. And we're just going to basically we're just going to start here and then we'll work our way over there. Hopefully the fish just start biting and we can just stay here and catch our limit here and don't have to go and hike around. So we'll see. Just got to make sure that I don't, when I cast, I don't snag the camera and throw my camera in the water. That'd be bad. So, all right, let's go. We'll see how this performs. We're just going to, we're going to try shallow first. And then if the fish aren't shallow, we'll slowly let our rooster tail sink farther and farther down towards the bottom and just slowly work at all depths of at all depths of the water and whichever depths we find the fish at that's how we'll be fishing for them you guys can see there's like a good chop coming through that's perfect or well, that's ideal when i'm fishing for trout so this time we're just gonna we're just gonna let the rooster tail sink a little further down to the bottom because I'm assuming they would be at the bottom because I don't feel I don't see any fish jumping so we're just gonna wait and then we're pretty much just gonna do this until we find the pattern or the rhythm gotta jerk it a couple times just to make sure that the blade is spinning once the blade is spinning you should be able to feel it on your rod there should be somewhat of a tension on your rod if your blade is spinning if you just feel like there's nothing on the end of your rod then you're you're fishing the rooster tail wrong respectable fish sorry about the mess yeah, yeah not, not bad not bad fish no <laughs> Ooh, i just had a hit how did that not get him two just hooked up yep they're here i just missed one and then two just hooked up his second one Good look. Good for the fryer. Yep. Perfect size for the fryer. Chu has two. I have a big fat donut. Yeah, they want it. Maybe it's your color. Oh no, nope. they're here, dude. That one? Yeah, oh, they're stacked right here. Finally, on the board, perfect frying pan one. It's croaking. What the heck? All right, out. All right, one fish down. First fish of the year. Well, 
Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Yes. Tiny guy it seems like. Yep. Not very big. No, that is a small one. Perfect. <laughs> just like, just like a badger, huh? Third one. All right. Tie it back here. Oh, yep, little guy. <laughs> Number five. Number five. We good. It's better than getting nine. No mess with trouble, man. Well, this is the lure of the day for me. I don't even know what this is. This is just something Jude gave me. It's a one fourth ounce, all gold. As soon as the sun hit, that's when the fish started really picking up. This morning was really slow for me. Once the sun hit, it's just game on. Do some salt and pepper. All right, I think that's good. We're just doing a catch and cook. I wasn't even planning on doing this. Uh, I was planning on just making a fishing video, but I figured why not? Because we had a pretty good day of fishing. So we're just going to basically cook the trout in some oil and get it ready, just beautiful and crisp. And then we're just going to mix it in with some rice and then we're just going to throw avocado on top of that. I think that's pretty simple as far as cooking goes and that's what we're going to be doing today. So, so I'm actually just waiting for the vegetable oil to cook and then we're going to throw in the trout once the trout's done cooking and then we're just going to mix everything in together and we're just going to eat. Right here, this is a good old avocado, and then this is my bowl of rice. Basically, I'm just gonna get the avocado out of here, mix it in with the rice. Once the fish is ready, mix everything in, and then that's what I'll be eating for lunch today. Cut right around. Look at that good stuff right there. Take out the seed. Oh yes, 
right there. I wasn't planning to cook the trout like this, that's why I should have just left the trout as a full fish, but again, I wasn't even planning to cook like this, so that's why I kind of cut it apart like this. Alright, we're just going to pull this apart. Get the spine bone right here out. Oh yes. Mix it in real well. Get some of this avocado right there on the side. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that looks so stinking delicious. So I've got some avocado right here and just basically three pieces of tr trout. I mean, this is a lot of food right here. And then I just have rice on the bottom. And basically with every bite, you just get a little bit of everything. I think this is gonna be good right there. Trout, avocado, rice. Mm. This is bomb. Oh my gosh, the trout skin is so good. There's something like that. Mm hmm. A simple avocado. Make sure you catch some fish, salt and pepper, just rice. All right guys, well, I think that pretty much just wraps it up. I mean, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish eating this. This is just pure deliciousness right here. Just trout, salt, pepper, avocado, some rice. Make sure you leave the skin on. As always, thank you guys so much for watching.